And I just got you with the volume trick. <laughs> Don't feel bad, people. Anyway, you guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village here today for another uh, progress update video. So we're going to be taking a look back. I'm not quite sure uh, how long this has been. Honestly, I think it's been like a week's. I think this is like a week's worth of training if I'm... If, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like a week's worth of training. I don't know, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's two weeks at most. I think it's one week though. But anyway, um, we are back and we're going to be looking at some of these sets, mainly um, Planche stuff for the most part, uh, Planche, Victorian, uh, those kind of sets. Um, I haven't really been doing much. Uh, well, I have been. The thing is, you guys aren't going to be seeing any front lever uh pull-ups or any sort of front lever work well outside of victorian and you guys also aren't going to see uh hefesto which is the other skill that i normally do in these kind of videos but honestly with hefesto i've just been taking it pretty easy just doing like sets of three on those still doing the back lever of course obviously but um yeah i just haven't really been pushing it too hard because uh by the time i would get to like hefesto or front lever pull-ups i'm already kind of uh, tired from like all the multis and plant stuff as well so I haven't really been doing that. Uh, honestly, though, uh, ever since this train cycle started, progress has not really been as quickly as it has been uh, before this. Like, from February to May, I obviously made a huge jump. And I think the reason for that is is because up until February, I was injured. So I think from, like, February to May, I made all the strength gains that I would have made if I wasn't injured, if that makes sense. So now I'm kind of back up to where I want to be and I'm kind of just, I'm still making progress, yeah, but it's definitely not as quickly as uh, it was beforehand. Before it was like, it was Zoom. I mean, you guys saw that uh, three-month video I made. So anyway, guys, we're getting to the sets. Uh, most of this is uh, planche, multis, and some Victorian stuff. Um, not, this is not everything I've been doing because I'm also working on some... Uh, some other sets that are supposed to be kind of surprised for a different project, so I'm kind of keeping that secret, but just so you guys know, that is uh, something that I kind of want to tease in this video. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video, and I'll catch you guys when I go over the progress. <laughs> okay, so here we are starting things off with some uh, pressing. Um, nothing really new yet, but uh, I always like to just start with some uh, parallel bar Maltese work, just because... That is what I feel most comfortable on, so I always like to start um, with that to really just kind of get get the confidence going and um, move from there. So after that, moved on to a little bit of ring uh, planche work. Uh, as you can see, that's looking a lot better, and uh, I was actually trying to lower down on purpose there. So when I was doing the ring planche a couple weeks ago, that was me crushing kind of unintentionally, but... Um, I think it's pretty obvious that the rings, they're a lot more stable and stuff like that. So that was me intentionally trying to drop down. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm back on the floor uh, for most of today. These are from June 10th. Uh, still working on floor multi, still having a lot of issues with it. Um, I do think uh, as of right now that I'm recording this video, I have actually figured out what my problem is with that. So uh, the issue is the hands. Um, I'm going to start placing both my hands on a uh, yoga mat when I'm doing the uh, floor Maltese because I'm really noticing that my hands are slipping just a lot and it, it really kind of makes sense because whenever I leave a floor hold it always does feel like it was something kind of with the grip and not necessarily that the hold itself was too hard on, you know, my upper body or core or anything like that. Um, so anyway, uh, decent day on the 10th. I moved back to the um, parallel bar pressing as well. And then we are going to in, into some of the Victorian stuff. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. Still doing some pretty short holds there into the, well, I guess that's kind of like a wide plant. I don't know. Wide plant slash Maltese, maybe Maltese plant. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, into the slow <clears throat> negative uh, front lever there. Uh, need to work on the uh, transition, keeping my shoulders and elbows kind of in the same plane on the, I guess, 
uh, dip up. I guess that's technically an impossible dip variation, just a wider grip impossible dip. Um, my shoulders are coming pretty far forward when I do it. So technically not an impossible dip or just a very bad form impossible dip. And then we have the multis there. Um, and then of course the negative uh, front lever. And this is a pretty cool set. I started working on that day. It is a supposed to be a full range of motion impossible dip, which is extremely challenging. I'm pretty much doing negative impossible dip to front lever muscle up, but I'm doing the best I can to really try to keep the shoulders back, but they are coming forward because this is an extremely hard dip variation. Um, I saw this, I saw Xylus doing this on one of his older Instagram posts, so I figured I would try to give it a shot. Uh, so worked on that, did a couple sets of it, probably going to be trying it uh, every so often from here and there. So you guys will definitely see me clean this up and maybe someday I'll get to the uh, reverse Pelican, which is actually pretty much this set, but you uh, you finish in your reverse planche. Um, and then on to the next day, the 14th, like I said, I, oh yeah. So after the 10th, I took a three day break. So on the 14th, I then came back. Always oh, start with the parallel bar Maltese as kind of a warm up thing and then move on to the floor sets. Um, as you can see, I'm still trying to work on perfecting my uh, floor planche to Maltese transfer. Unfortunately, not super good. I've only had like <clears throat> a couple good days of uh, getting a good uh, transfer in. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the form on the floor planche looks pretty good. The presses look good. It's just a matter of kind of perfecting the transfer and getting these stronger floor Maltese. And like I said, I think doing my hands on the yoga mat when I train it next will actually help me. So we're back on the rings today. Um, again, going for a planche, ring planche feeling really, really good. And by the time I, you guys are seeing this video, I might have actually started going back outside on the rings because now I actually feel like to the point where I'm like kind of confident enough to uh, really start trying to go outside and uh, try to like do some harder ring skills. And it's funny because even here in the hallway, uh, really not a good uh, setup because obviously the width is so restricted. And uh, honestly, for ring Maltese and kind of the other advanced skills I'm trying to do, um, why being able to go wider on the rings would actually make a lot of these skills easier. So just keep that in mind when you guys are seeing some uh, ring Maltese attempts <clears throat> later in the video, okay? So we are going for some planche pressing here uh, just to kind of really build strength and kind of drill everything going for a long hold to press here that was like eight seconds i counted it um pretty good and then just uh, i think i go for like reps or something pretty crazy set if you ask me and um the next set <clears throat> it's actually really cool and i just decided i was going to try to do a 10 second hold to press because i've never actually done this before and i figured it'd be a cool set to hit pretty late in the workout and uh, as you can see it's looking really really good that planche form is pretty freaking good as you guys can see i am pretty much not leaning at all when i hold my full planche which is uh pretty tough and kind of the form that i am looking to go for so then we got the p bars turned out there and <clears throat> moving on to the next day the 16th failed the press uh yeah that happens you're not always going to hit your sets and you just got to keep that in mind that you're going to have some fails. It doesn't mean you're necessarily regressing or that you're weak. It just means that, hey, maybe it's not a super good day of training and you got to keep that in mind. Going for the uh, little Maltese attempt there on the rings, like I said, if the rings were actually wider, it actually would be a little bit easier. So um, keep that in mind, people. Um, yep. Just going for attempts. Not Honestly, they're, they're not bad. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm not at least somewhat happy with these <clears throat> Maltese holds because I am. I think they're pretty freaking good. And uh, yeah, like I said, by now, the time you guys are watching this, you might have seen some outdoor ring footage or something on my Instagram if I decide to get out there. So that's cool. And then we got the transfer. Definitely a good transfer there, actually. <clears throat> pretty sweet. Got some dead planche stuff. Dead planche, obviously, one of my favorite skills. If you've been around the channel or my Instagram for a while, you know I love uh, the dead planche skills. So we got some dead planche push-up presses here. <laughs> Looking pretty 
pretty solid. Uh, for those that don't know, dead planche push-ups, they're, they're a pretty legit skill, honestly. So dead planche hold there. And then I think right here, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was pretty late. I just wanted to try to do uh, push-up to dead planche back up. Couldn't hit it. Don't really care. I'll just go for it again next time I want to try it. But at least I was able to get into the dead planche. So got a Victorian there. Closer bars. Decent hold, though. Honestly, I just got to... The one thing I do got to work on is my hips are, like, just super low and piked. Slightly piked. Not, like, fully piked, but slightly piked on some of these Victorian sets. So that's, like, one thing that I really got to work on improving on. So... Got another hold there, decent Vic. And I'm doing a better job on the uh, impossible dip, keeping everything uh, keeping everything lined up there. You know, the shoulders uh, and the elbow, uh, of course, lined up. Shoulders even, like, back a little bit. So there we go, trying to go down, failed it, whatever. Going to go for another attempt there. Really nice impossible there. And then, of course, we have to hit the... <clears throat> we have to hit the Maltese as well, of course. Like, that's kind of the big thing. The big thing with the skills is... You want to think about how – it's not about who can, you know, do the most reps or hold the longest. It's who can go from one skill to the next in the most, like, aesthetic way possible, if that makes sense. That's kind of the art of calisthenics there. So I'm going the Victorian to the uh, Maltese. So <clears throat> really cool there. Just going to keep repping out this set. I really like this set, honestly. And I can't wait till I have it cleaner. Um, and then, yeah, we got the uh, just narrow grip Victorian here. Uh, someone in the Discord group uh, suggested that I do that. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a really good progression. So I'm going to work on it. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, screwed up the impossible there. Oh, well, I was pretty tired when I was doing that. And uh, now we are on the 18th. Got a nice looking ring planche there. Super high again, lowering on purpose. And, uh, yeah, another good uh, ring planche attempt. Once again, trying to lower down. Can I get it? Eh, short hole, I guess. I guess. Guess you can call it that. Then back to the planche. Honestly, ring planche, <laughs> confidence level, so much different than it was. And then, of course, we got another um, attempt there for the ring Maltese. <clears throat> Pretty fuego. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going. We got a uh, planche here. <laughs> Once again, I like having the P-bars turned out now on some of my planche sets because that is kind of the way you have the rings tilted when you are doing ring planche. So, got some wide presses here. We've got one, two, three. Absolutely insane. Honestly, that's insane. And then we go down. I tried to hold it for longer. I, I was so mad about that, but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to, of course smash a quick little planche hold and now fire set right here boom planche presses let's get it one two three <laughs> this is after that other set by the way four boom that's insane and then go to wide um, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know how many, uh, max <laughs> planche presses I could do, but, uh, yeah, honestly, four is the most, the most I've ever done. And I think uh, by that said, I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video is like, yeah, you can definitely do more than four. I honestly think that if I really tried, I could probably get like 10 or close on, on regular grip planche press. So, and then I think this is pretty much it just after this <clears throat> press here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, this is another set of three. Yeah, on that same day, I did another set of three, <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the uh, progress update. It it's pretty crazy looking back at all of that and talking over it because I know at the beginning of the video, I was like, oh, I haven't really been making progress. But I look at that video, I'm like, wow, I've actually been making a lot of pro progress and it's been going great. Uh, it's just a matter of, pretty much going for harder stuff, which is going to discourage you a little bit, but you just got to keep pushing uh, until you can, of course, get it down. Um, other than that, um, online coaching, still taking, um, still looking for clients to take on. You can reach out to me through email or Instagram for that. Both of those will be in the description. Um, also will be in the description is the Street Workout Hub Discord, so you can join that as well. I pop in pretty regularly. I'm probably in there at least once a day. So 
that's pretty sweet. Um, with that, guys, of course, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.